Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today's your birthday. Whoo, I just pulled my ass out of bed. It is 8.20. I've been really good about getting up and out of bed before 8 a.m., but I just couldn't do it today. I woke up really tired for some reason. And also it's freezing, so I checked the temperature and it was 64 degrees inside of our apartment. I am icy cold, like I can't even tell you guys. I'm just putting a little bit of hydrating serum on my face and that's it, because I'm gonna work out, so I'll wash my face after that. So no need to like, put on all the skin here right now but my skin has just been so dry this week i don't know why i think i really have not been drinking enough water this week i need to definitely drink some more water today so i'm sure that's had an impact okay not the best job of not making the bed but whatever it's done <laughs> need socks on this morning by the way i'm like fully dressed <laughs> this sweatshirt's just long it's about an hour later and i'm just about to hop into a workout which is going to feel so good just a quick half hour nice sweaty workout so let's do it this is high lift toes pointed three hops out in out in oh brother I'm making myself a coffee because I'm tired. I got this different kind of um, iced coffee, like cold brew. Connor, trying to vlog. Quiet, quiet, I'm <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, I got this different kind because they didn't have my usual stock and it's not very good. So I just have to use like more creamer than usual. Kind of funky, I don't know what it is about it. Oh my God, I kiss up Yanni, is so bad. Okay, it's gonna be a big coffee day today, I think. So here is the deal for today. We leave for Vegas tomorrow afternoon. So I need to do all of my prep today. Um, I'm gonna blow out my hair. I was kind of debating whether I wanted to keep it curly or straighten it. But why I ultimately often come back to straightening my hair when I'm traveling is because it's so much more low maintenance. Like it takes more time to do today. Like I'll have to spend an hour today doing it. But after that, like all weekend, it's just like easy. I don't have to travel with as many products. I'll be able to pack in a carry-on because I won't have to bring full-size products with me. Just overall, it becomes a lot easier. So yeah, I was kind of debating it because I never keep my hair curly for Vegas. I thought it'd be a kind of fun switch up, but I think ultimately just straightening my hair is going to be easier. So I'm going to do that. I need to self-tan badly because... I'm so freaking pale right now, you guys. I was actually thinking I need to get back into like my self tanner routine, like doing it more often because legitimately the amount that my confidence goes up when I have a tan is like actually insane. I don't know. There's just something about having a little color on your skin that just really does it. I'm sure you guys can relate. I don't even mind my pale skin, but just like at this point when like I haven't gotten any sun for months, it's just... It's a little too pale. So yeah, those are like two of like the bigger kind of tasks that we have for the day. And then I have a good amount of work to get done. Also, I have to um, edit a video for tomorrow, schedule a post for a client. So lots to get done, lots to do, lots to do. So what, what order do I wanna do these things? Cause I'm gonna have to do a double shower today because I don't like to self tan Although, yeah, no, I don't like to self tan and then shower because I feel like all the soap from washing my hair kind of rinses it off too much versus just like a quick rinse just to get it off. So yeah, I'm gonna need to like do my hair earlier in the day so that I can self tan. So I should probably do that like soon. I'll do it after lunch. I'm gonna have this coffee. I'm gonna get some work done. I'll eat lunch. Then we'll do my hair and then we'll tan and we'll finish our day and then we'll shower again later tonight. We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> Well, let's go do this. One other thing, actually, I want to get a liquid IV going. As I said, I've been pretty dehydrated and there is literally nowhere drier than Vegas. It is insane. The second that you get there, you're just dehydrated from being in the desert. productive day so far you guys that second coffee really brought me back to life I it was so needed and oh my gosh I feel so much better and now it is lunchtime I'm in the mood for just a veggie bowl so that's what I'm gonna make here 
do I want to make broccoli? Do we have broccoli? Let me look. We do in fact have broccoli and it looks like it's kind of starting to go bad, so I wanna use some of it um, now. That way we don't waste it. Voila, that's lunch. Nice, quick, easy little veggie bowl here. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, I am about three hours behind where I thought I would be and I still have a fair amount of work to do today. It is 3.45 p.m. and I really need to get in the shower and take care of my hair because I need to do that before I can self tan as we already discussed. So that's just gonna be, it's gonna be a time trying to deal with all of that, to be honest. But we're gonna get it done. You know, it is what it is. Not a big deal if I have to sleep in my self tanner. I just try not to because it like leaves your sheets all brown, which is kind of gross. If it happens, it's not a big deal. I'll just wash the sheets when we get home. But let's go ahead and hop in the shower and deal with blowing out my hair. I haven't blown out my hair in a second, so I don't really feel like doing it, but it's just, it's gonna get done. I'm so pleased with the little Molly cat. She looks so cute. Just relaxing on Coco's chair. Hi, little miss. Hi, he is the cutest kitty in the whole world. Yeah, we know, we know you are. We are out of the shower and I put my hair up in a microfiber towel. So before I blow up my hair, I like it to be, I would say 70% dry, which honestly happens really fast when I have it in a microfiber towel. It probably is honestly already there. The center of my hair sometimes takes a little bit longer, but like the ends and everything, I guarantee if I take this down, are already, yeah. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this, is already looking pretty dry. So yeah, I guess we're gonna get on with the blowout now. Get this ish over with and then I'll get back to work. It's gonna be a late one, which kind of sucks, but so it goes, it happens. Okay, hair time. Literally in the time that I was just like getting changed, um, cause I like to wear just something really light and loose cause I sweat a lot while doing this because this is hot. My hair got really dry. So I just kind of like wet my hands under water and touch it a little bit and that's kind of how I touch it up. I can use some heat protectant now. By some, I mean a lot. <sighs> Let's just get over it. Let me get this over it because I don't feel like it. Okay, here we go. This is my Revlon. I don't even remember what this thing is called anymore, but whatever, the Revlon brush. <laughs> and let's just get this over with. <laughs> hair is so long, what the hell? It's ridiculous, just seeing how long it is when it's straight. <laughs> My memory card ran out of space, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna do the trick that I do sometimes where I kind of straighten my hair with the flat iron as I go. Just because the Revlon brush, I would say, like does a really good base of straightening my hair, but my hair does tend to kind of poof up a little bit with it, which is fine on like days like this, like I don't need to go out tonight, but it is also just easier to kind of touch it up as you go, get a little closer to the root which can be hard with the Revlon brush too. And just make sure that everything is looking good so that there's less for me to worry about tomorrow. I just cannot get over the length of my hair. Oh, it's insanity. Insanity. All right, on to this side of my hair now. Okay, this is where we are leaving the hair for now. Obviously it's like, mostly straight there's definitely more touch-ups i could have in but we're just going to deal with those tomorrow morning because who cares right now but the hers are looking they're looking pretty good let me let me go in the other room i mean it has gotten so long i am forever amazed at how long this hair is <laughs> never in my life have i had hair this long but we're here for it honestly you can probably use a trim but it's fine i'm going to put some hair oil in now. I live and breathe for this hair oil when my hair is straight. This is from Living Proof and it's actually their curl from their curl line. This is their moisture shine oil, um, but I don't really use it when my hair is curly. I mostly just use it when my hair is straight. When my hair is curly, I use my Bread Beauty hair oil. I don't know why, but <laughs> hopefully lock in a little bit of that moisture and 
Next in my order of operations is going to be lathering myself in self tanner. I know I've covered my self tanner so many times at this point, but my favorite go-to, in case you don't know, is the Saint Tropez Express Tan. This ish is so good. I love it so much. And then I use the Tanologist drops on my face. So I'm gonna go do that now. And then we need to get back to work. It's 5.30 and I still have a good amount of work to do. So um, yeah, we gotta get back to it. We are finally finished with work, you guys, which means we can officially start trying on some Vegas looks. So I did no shopping for this trip. So um, we're working with what we got here, but let me show you some things. I don't know, we're gonna try on some things, see what we like. So with this dress, I'm like 100% packing and I would even reckon to say 100% wearing because I bought this for my last Vegas trip and I did not get a chance to wear it and I freaking love it. It's so cute. Just a cute little pink number, obviously like some cutouts, very like Euphoria vibes and I'm just here for this look, so. This baby is definitely coming with us. Okay, all the rest of the dresses I'm trying on, I have taken from Kate. I shopped her closet when I saw her earlier this week because I just, I could not be bothered to actually shop. So here is the first dress and I'm freaking obsessed with this. I love it. It has like a little lacy detail at the top here. I literally did not think this was gonna fit me because it looks so small on, but it's nice and stretchy. So it fits. I mean, so small, not on is what I'm trying to say. And oh my God, it's just so cute, it's so fun. I feel like so sexy in it. So I'm here for this look. I feel like this is gonna end up being the winner for my second dress, cause I only need two, but we have two other ones that I stole from Kate to try on too. Okay, next up is this little number, which is cute, but honestly, I just, I never like dress up, like go hard. Like it's very rare when I do that, especially like in a kind of like sexier way. And Vegas is the time that I do that and spend time doing that. So this is just like, it's just a little bit more casual. Like this is something that I would just wear more regularly. It's so cute and comfortable, but it's not giving Vegas. So um, this one's out. And the last dress from Kate's Closet is this little number, which I think is so cute. I'll definitely pack this, although I feel fairly confident that I'm gonna wear the black and the pink. Um, but I'm still gonna bring this anyway because it's so cute. Um, is it giving slightly medieval? I can't tell. Like, I don't know why I think that. It's just sort of that it's like tight up here and then it's like boop out the sides. I feel like it's giving like a little, I, I don't even know, is it medieval? I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. But regardless, it's so cute. So I'm gonna pack it anyway. It's definitely like more comfortable than the black one. It's a little like looser, easier to wear. But um, I think in the end, the black is gonna be the winner. It is finally dinner and chill time, which feels so good. Feels like it's been a very long day today for some reason. Cause it has, it's eight. <laughs> yeah. Is it eight? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, it's late. But we just made dinner, well Connor made dinner, which is very nice of him. And then I cleaned up, which sometimes we like to mm -hmm. switch off like that for each other or one person cleans another cooks or vice versa, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I forgot to show you though before I made my bowl ugly, but we're doing taco bowls. So here's mine. As I said, it is hideous now, <laughs> but it's rice, lettuce, tomato, onion, green bell pepper, and I have a um, corn vegan chicken patty in there for mm. my protein. And Connor has all the same, but with some sausage. And that is din for the night. It's the next morning, everyone, and we are leaving for Vegas today, so we need to finish all the rest of our Vegas prep. I have done zero as far as packing goes. Um, luckily, we have a lot of time here this morning, but we need to get all that taken care of, tidy up our place a little bit, and then we are off to the airport, which, I mean, I'm gonna end this vlog before we leave. You guys know, I never vlog in Vegas, really. <laughs> it's just too much of a time. But I think first, I'm just gonna hop in the shower right now and rinse off my self tan so that this little this little mess can be cleaned up a little bit. And then we're gonna start packing. Look at little Molly cat. Okay, showered, got immediately back into the same clothes I was wearing because I don't know what I'm gonna wear at the airport yet. So we are just rocking with this. I have a package from Abercrombie here. Just a, um, if you guys recall when I did that haul, there was a pair of pants that didn't fit me quite right. And so um, I returned those and they sent me a new pair, which are my size, hopefully. 
Let's have a look. Beep, beep, beep. Just plain pair of black trousers, which we love. They are not seeing short though, so hopefully they sent me the 25 short. We're gonna see, but wha-bam. Let's try these on quickly because I wanna know if I'm going to pack them or not. Well, they fit my waist much better, but 90% sure these are the regular and not the short, which like, why can't, why can't I get the sizing right here? I don't understand, <laughs> but that's okay. They're honestly not that long and with a little pair of heels or my platform converse they're gonna be totally fine so we're not messing around with returning these again and they are definitely coming with us to vegas i think to wear tomorrow okay i've decided this is what we're going to wear on the plane that way we're just getting plain white tank and my black trousers there without having to worry about packing them. And now we really need to hit the ground running on the packing. Um, it should be pretty easy, at least the clothes stuff. Products takes a little bit longer, but um, let's just get all of our clothes in our bag. Miss girl, we're gonna, beep, beep, beep. We're gonna miss you, my little baby. She doesn't know what's happening yet, but the suitcase is about to come out. She's about to be very, very mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, good girl. Also, please excuse just all of the mess. It's just like boxes from deliveries. I still haven't donated these clothes. I'm gonna do that next week. It's just, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Look at this. What is this move I'm doing? Okay. <laughs> Dresses we're bringing first, cause that's number one priority. if I can slide this into my bag just to get back to Kate at the end of the trip. So small, it should not be an issue. So pants are going in. Options for tomorrow. I get my pajamas in. I feel like I'm not overpacking for once, which is making me feel like I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> pajamas, we have an outfit for tomorrow. This is gonna be my plain outfit. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's good. Oh, you know what else we need to pack is jackets. So we need like my black blazer. Okay, I feel like that is it for what clothing I'm gonna bring. So now we gotta figure out how to fit all of our toiletries and shoes. Oh my God, there's so many shoes I wanna bring. This is actually bad. Definitely these. I think I'm not gonna bring a pair of booties. Even though I could wear them with these pants, I don't think I will, so. We're gonna skip the booties. And I might wear these also with that pink dress, so. And yeah, like maybe these mules to wear during the day. Ugh, if I can fit them, I'll bring them. If not, it's no big deal. Let's go work on toiletries now. Yes, my love. What are the chances I convince you to turn that down just a little so I can vlog? Oh my God. Just a touch. God damn it. Just a touch lower. No, no, no. The no, lot of no, intergalactic no. noises coming no, from the bathroom. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Ah. You want to fight. I understand. <laughs> I do not want to fight. It's the new makeup bag I got, by the way. Connor's mom got it for me for Christmas, and I really like it. It's got like. It like opens up flat so you can really see everything, but then like closes up and it stays super organized when you close it up. So. I really like it a lot. So this is what we're gonna pack in. So I'm throwing some stuff in here. I'm hoping for the best. I know Kate is probably packing her entire cosmetics collection, so I'm not too concerned. She will have anything if I forget. <laughs> Camera battery died, but we got our skincare on. So now we can start packing. I just try to go through like the order of operations in my mind so I don't forget anything. So primer. I think this CC Nude Glow in Medium should be a good fit for me right now. Then we need concealers. I think I'm also gonna bring this kind of like bright pink blush too. Maybe for when I'm wearing that pink dress. Could be fun to do a little pinky moment. Eyeshadow next, so we need our primer. And then palettes. I'm gonna bring my Ilia palette for a more like daytime vibe. That's like some nice pinky colors in it. That could be good. And then I'm also kind of thinking about bringing this because it has some fun colors in it too if I feel like doing something fun. So what is next? We've done mascara. Eyebrows. Cannot forget eyebrow stuff, obviously. Powders, more blush. That would be like finishing touches and then setting spray. And that would be it. I think that's pretty solid for the makeup. If you're curious, here's kind of what I do. So I put like a lot of the more like loose, smaller things over here. I just threw like these little tools and my um, eyebrow product in this pocket, all of the brushes in this middle part. Now on the side here, I have like all of my bigger palettes and also my setting spray. And then a couple smaller palettes tucked away in here also. Sip up this part. Oh, you know what I'm missing? This would be a disaster, my beauty blender. And now you just kind of zipper up. 
like so. It turns into like a nice normal kind of square bag, but when it opens up, everything is nicely organized. Isn't that cool? I'll try to find this and link it for you guys. And now we need skincare and other products. So we already have some pimple patches in there and a band-aid. So we're two, we're definitely gonna need more band-aids just in case. We wear heels all weekend, so the feet can sometimes get a little testy. I'm gonna bring my favorites. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Hyaluronic Marine Booster. And this is the um, Dr. Dennis Gross Moisture Cushion. So we're gonna bring both of those. I want my Burt's Bees and I want my Laneige. My Gua Sha when I am inevitably extremely just puffy. Oh, you know what I didn't pack was lip stuff. We definitely gotta, gotta get to that. We are gonna bring these eye masks. What other kind of hair products do we need? We definitely need our hair oil. I'm gonna get that in there, but that's kind of it. Deodorant, haven't put that on myself yet, so let's make sure we don't smell bad. And I'm gonna bring my Mojave Ghost. How many liters is this? 3.3. Let's see how much this one is. 1.7, okay, we're gonna bring this one just in case. Um, this is from The Way and it's also delish, so. That'll be fine. For jewelry, I definitely wanna bring my long, dangly, sparkly earrings, cause those are so fun. I'm gonna bring these really cute earrings. I really like them. I kind of doubt that I wear them, but that's okay. We're gonna bring them anyway. Necklaces and stuff. I just know I'm not gonna switch out or change anything, so we're just gonna stick with what we have on. We need our pasties. I'm gonna bring some little clear elastics just in case I decide to do something fun with my hair. Not that I will, but just in case. And I also wanna bring my tanologist tanner, but make sure it's closed super tight because last time I went to Vegas, this exploded all over my toiletries bag and everything was covered in self-tanner and still kind of is. That's like, what do I look at my deodorant? That's self-tanner. <laughs> A big clip, birth control. Okay, is that it? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure that's it. It's always so stressful. I never know if I have everything or not. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure my bag is fully packed now. I've got a ton of liquid IV in there, just in case we need the hydration, which I'm sure we will. I also remembered to pack a couple extra bags for going out, which I almost forgot, so feeling good about that. Two little sparkly guys, so fun. And we managed to get everything in here that we wanted, which I'm pretty proud of myself for, not gonna lie. Alrighty, this is it, you guys. Our Uber is gonna be here any second. I'm just throwing my shoes on, and we are heading out. Yay! So, we are so excited. Thank you for watching this vlog. Sorry I'm leaving you at home, but just the way the cookie crumbles <laughs> and i will see you guys see the rated r version on OnlyFans. <laughs> exactly subscribe link down below <laughs> but this is it so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video sorry <laughs> bye